In this SNP, we'll create a configuration as code release pipeline that'll allow us to deploy our CloudFormation templates to a test environment. Then it'll send an email notification. Upon approval, it'll apply those same changes to production. We'll accomplish this using AWS code pipeline. To get started, we'll need an SNS topic to send out our email notifications. We'll need an S3 bucket to hold our configs, and we'll need a pipeline and CloudFormation role to handle permissions. To make these steps real simple, I've created a CloudFormation template that'll set this all up for us. So in CloudFormation, select Create Stack. Then upload a template file and choose your file. I'll select the pipeline prereq YAML file. This will be available in the notes. Select Next. So again, this stack is just going to set the foundation for our pipeline. So let's name it Pipeline Prereqs. And then decide the bucket name you want to use to store your source files. This will all need to be in lowercase. And add an email address you'll want to use for notifications for your approval process. On the Stack Options page, scroll to the bottom and click Next. At the bottom of the Review page, Select the checkbox for IAM roles, and then create stack. After a moment, click refresh, and you'll see your resources have been created. Now, let's take a quick look at the configuration files we're going to deploy. I have a real bare bones cloud formation template named Simple Template JSON. More importantly, it has a few parameters, and I define those parameters in my prod config and my test config JSON. So all the values that are going to change between my test and my production environments need to be included in these configuration files. And then they can be used as variables in our templates. Once we have these all set, zip up your three configuration files and upload them to S3. In S3, we'll open the bucket we just created and select Upload. And we'll upload our zip file. Now that our configuration files are uploaded, we can start creating our pipeline with AWS Code Pipeline. To get started, select Create Pipeline and give your pipeline a meaningful name. Select Existing Service Role and choose the pipeline role we created earlier. Select Next. In the source stage, we're going to specify where we're going to get our configuration files from. In this case, it's our S3 bucket. So enter your S3 bucket name and the name of the zip file that you uploaded to it. And then click Next. Now because we're only going to be deploying configuration files, we can skip the build stage. And in the deploy stage, we can select CloudFormation as our provider. In action mode, we'll select Create or Update Stack. Our first stack is going to be creating our test environment. So let's name it accordingly. For the template, we'll first specify that we're going to be getting our template from the source stage, and we'll be getting it in the form of a source artifact, and that really represents our zip file. And then we'll use two colons and the name of our CloudFormation template. The default name for an artifact coming in from our source stage is source artifact with a capital S and A. Then remember the two colons followed by the file name. And for our test configuration, we'll also specify that it'll be coming from our source artifact and then use the test configuration.json file. And finally, for this step, select the CloudFormation role we created earlier. Select Create Pipeline. This will cause Pipeline to grab your source files and kick off a test deploy. Terrific! Now that you have a success check mark for your source and deploy stage, we can add the next stage to deploy to production. First, select Edit, then Add Stage. We'll call this stage Deploy Prod. Next, we'll add two action groups inside our stage. First, we'll send out the confirmation email that requires manual approval, and then we'll deploy using our production configuration file. Select Add Action Group. Give it a meaningful name 
and for Action Provider, select Manual Approval. Select the SNS topic we created previously, and then Save. And we'll add our final action group. I'll call this Deploy to Prod. And our action provider will again be Cloud Formation. For action mode, select Deploy or Modify Stack. And give our stack name something that represents that this is the production deployment. We'll be using the same template in both our test and production environments. Only the configuration files will change. So this, again, will be source artifact, colon, colon, simple template JSON. And our configuration file will be our prod config JSON, again, from the source artifact. Scroll down. Again, select the cloud formation role. And in the advanced section, under input artifacts, select source artifact, then save. And that's everything we need for the deploy stage. So click done and then save your pipeline changes. It'll again gather the data from source and deploy it to test. Once it gets to the production stage, it'll pause and wait for manual approval. When you follow the link sent to you in the email, you'll be able to select review. And here we can add some meaningful comments about why we're releasing to production. Once you click approve, it'll start kicking off the production deployment. And in this case, I have a failure. Let's take a look at details to see why. Ah, it looks like I mistyped simple template.json. Let me go ahead and fix that. I'll scroll to the top and select edit, and then I'll edit the deploy prod stage. I'll just delete and recreate the deploy prod action group real quick. And after I've made my changes to that last stage, I'll release it again. Again, it'll pause and wait for approval. And with my typo fixed, we have success this time. Awesome. Now, we've actually deployed some real infrastructure. So let's look in EC2 real quick and see that our test and production EC2 instances are there. And there you have it. We have two instances running. So we've just created an awesome release pipeline that I know you will build on and make even better. Thank you so much for watching.